If your sales managers aren't sales coaches, then you are missing a wonderful opportunity to affect your sales results. Hello, I've got John Dugan with me again. Welcome back, John. Thanks, John. Hey, we had some great discussions about sales meetings in the last couple of uh, discussions we've had on camera, uh, but it really that made me think I'd like to step back and talk about sales management. Okay. How we make good sales managers. You know, I know you've got a lot of passion about the fact that productivity in sales is predominantly driven by good sales managers. So yeah, it's obviously really important. So let's talk about that. Okay, well, John, let, let's set a little bit of context around that. Um, the first thing is that great salespeople do not necessarily make great sales managers. And I think we actually spoke about that early last year. Um, the other thing is that if you want to be a successful sales manager, you've really got to demonstrate leadership skills rather than just management skills. And, and they're two of the same. And the third piece, and probably the most important, is the biggest predicator of sales results and sales performance is good sales coaching. So a manager has to be a great sales coach. And good sales coaching comes over the top of sales training, a whole lot of stuff. It's it's actually what makes it happen in the field. Yeah, absolutely. I When I break down coaching, I look at it in this way, John, and I think the best principle is the 10, 20, 70. 10% is the actual how-to skill. So what your people are actually doing and how they do it. 20% is the discussions, the role plays, the success sharing that you facilitate around that skill learning. Mm -hmm. And then 70% of it, and this is the most critical, you know, I, I think of a sports analogy is, how do I practice how I need to do my job every single day? And how is that broken down, not only so that I know what I'm achieving against KPIs, but also that the measurement against that is what my coach or manager is measuring, observing, repeating, and scaling. Okay, I'd like to talk about all of those in, in future interviews, but let's come back to the really primary question. If, if a CEO and a sales leader was looking at this, what would we be saying to them that they need to do to, to really lift the game of their sales managers to make them great sales managers? Yeah, John, firstly, they need an operating rhythm that creates a framework for success and, and measurement and observation of their sellers. Do you mean a culture or what do you mean by no, an operating No, I, I almost mean a, a week or a fortnight or a month in the life of a cadence so that they actually know how to operate, when to be doing their coaching, when to be doing their actual managing, when to be having conversations okay. with each individual. Um, and then we also need to invest in making them better coaches. And I can't articulate that point enough, John. You know, whether you, you source this information externally or you've got the facility to do it internally, you've got to invest in people becoming better coaches. And that is number one, identifying the competencies that allow those to develop salespeople. Uh, and, and hopefully identify those competencies before you even hire a sales manager. But if you've got them on board, then identify what level of competency they've got and, and then a plan to help develop the competencies they need to be a great sales manager. Absolutely. Well, uh, as we said right at the very start, not every great salesperson is going to make a great sales manager. But when you find one who has the competencies to be successful in both roles, then developing them is a fantastic way to replicate and scale the success that they've had. I was working with an organisation recently and the CEO and the sales leader in the organisation recognised that they really needed to invest in this area because by investing in sales managers, you get a real ramp up of productivity versus investing in all the salespeople. The RRI investment in sales managers is much higher. And so they recognised they needed to get coaches externally to come in and coach their sales managers in harmony with the sales leader. Absolutely. Well, if you look at what the sales manager, sales coach has as a responsibility, it's developing multiple people to be successful and affect results, not just focusing specifically on one sales person. You've got the multiplying effect. Absolutely. Okay. John, that's a great discussion. So bottom line, we do need to invest in our sales management. We need to make them what, do what we can to make them great sales leaders, great sales managers, uh, and, and we'll get a good return on investment. And we can do that in a number of different ways you outlined. Yes. If your sales managers aren't sales coaches, then you are missing a wonderful opportunity to affect your sales results. That's a great message. And I want to get back and talk to you more about sales coaching over the next two or three interviews. Fantastic. Thanks, John.